Take a look at shares of KKR. Um, important news this morning, certainly in terms of my career, when I think about covering private equity, Jim, and I, you think about the beginnings of this right. industry, the first name that comes to mind is, is Henry Kravis. Right. There's pretty much no doubt about that, of course, uh, in the book, Barbarians at the Gate, of course, uh, uh, takeover of RJR. But, um, you know, these firms have changed dramatically. Uh, and. Uh, even over the last five years, so many of the names that we know well, say private equity really doesn't define anywhere near what they do. No. Certainly not the case for Blackstone, which we oh talk about God, now. They're, they're a banks. giant alternative asset management right. in so many different areas. Right. And KKR, too, very active in the capital markets in so many ways. This change has been anticipated for some time. Maybe some people looking at the immediacy of it because there's no transition. It's happening today. Right. Um, two new co-CEOs, but, you know, again, their shareholder base has been ready for it. Scott Nuttall and Joe Biden taking over. Um, and Have you ever heard a bad word about Henry Krebs? No, Henry is a complete and total gentleman, always gentleman. has been with me. And you know what, you, the when I haven't you see seen him, him in a long so time, excited but, because yeah. he always has a good word. He's a cheerful person, very, very smart. Yes. And just, you know, the good face of capitalism, I think. I don't know. I mean, maybe I've been... Woo, that might be going a little far. I don't really? Know. Well, I, don't know. I mean, some people would talk about Capitalism private equity, and, and that's, that's a debate for another day. But I think, take a look at the stocks. I mean, because when you look at KKR, or you look at Blackstone, or you look at... And again, many of them are different, but you see CG there, Carlisle, Apollo, which is much more an insurance company right. now. Aries far smaller, but put it up there nonetheless. Uh, again, alternative assets, obviously very important in, the, in terms of debt financing markets and things of that nature. Um, there's been a lot of value created recently. A lot of them have become C-Corps. Now, importantly, by the way, nothing I'm told to the immediacy here. You know, they're 78 and 79. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, they don't look it's at, getting on. No, they're, 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 they're still really incredibly Henry. active. I've actually never met um, Roberts. Robert, I don't no, know Robert. He's met. like a shadow, that guy. Well, yeah, the shadow knows. I mean, I know. They're cousins, by the way, first cousins. But again, this is uh, other than oh, other than Schwartzman now, I think we've got new leadership pretty much across the board. I mean, Carlisle, uh, Rubenstein, and those guys are no longer right. It's it's Kusun Lee. Uh, you've got... Uh, um, you got Rowan now at Apollo. Leon Black is right. stepped down. And that's um, where I'm not sure about that. Obviously, John Gray runs Blackstone in many ways as well, but Schwartzman's CEO. Right. Uh, but other than that now, it's all the new, new generation. These are not necessarily it new happened. guys. It happened. Yeah. Uh, there's a and they've institutionalized uh, themselves in many ways. And by the way, to that note, it's taken them quite a while, but they are going to get to one share, one vote at KKR. Uh, which will finally, but not till the end of 26. But what a stock. Not quite I mean, sure why on, they're taking so long. Apollo's going to be there very soon when if they're not already. It was a great deal. It's like, it reminds me of Sternlick and, and, and Starwood. I mean, just buy it. These guys are made it. They just, they just do it right.